back again. Uh, just popping Alice back into her own energy rather than being Rachel's and a flower essence combo, I mean a tuning fork combo has just shown up so I thought we'd just do that quickly. So when someone is a surrogate for me I always make sure that their energy is back to themselves 100% and ask for any and all integrations that are useful for this body to be integrated with ease and grace and uh, so basically there's a tuning for, so there's a, there was a lot of empathy with uh, Rachel, so it brought up a couple of things for Alice, so that's what that's about. So we just need to calm that down and to get the energy moving. So the two tuning forks that showed up were, uh, oh, triple heater yeah. and circ sex. So, so it's about adrenal, immune, thyroid stuff, and then messing with the circulation of the sex organs. Anyway, we'll see what it shows up emotionally because this is about the emotions more so than the organs. The dog rose. Oh, well, this one is a different combo. Oh, yeah, so there, oh, yeah, right. So the first thing that showed up, yeah, was our dog rose of the wild forces, which is a, a it's a flower essence to do with like holding on by your fingernail so it's almost like that's where Alice has been with her health as well so there was a real core empathy going on where Alice really understands Rachel's holding on by her fingernails for trying to get that answer to good health that answer to you know feeling okay and happy and vibrant and everything in this life where we're entitled to it we would think so so anyway so it's thyroid Pericardium. Really? For you, this is about someone being very possessive in your lifetime but unaffectionate. Oh. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> We've chatted before about that. I think it's her narcopath of a mother <laughs> or narcopath of a brother. <laughs> so the flower essence is Serato. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm goosebumping. So it's, um, and once again, this isn't you now because you're your own person, but imagine your younger life. It's seeking validation through feedback from others. You know, you don't feel good unless you're given feedback and acting on what others want me to do instead of my own wisdom. That's her, <laughs> that's really funny. We could not have written that better for you. Okay, we need to tr transcend and dissolve it. Okay, so once again, is it this one? Is it this one? Is it figure eights? Is it chakras? It's figure eights. Okay, so face down, face up. No, it's everything from your shoulders to your ankles. So that's all about moving forward. So from because of that being stuck, you can't move forward. We're not surprised about that either. <laughs> okay, so how far away do we need it from the body? Do we need it on the body? Do we need it away from the body in centimetres, inches, feet? So, okay, so I need to do it about three feet up. So I'm going to change the camera, put the table down. so that I can do three feet easily. Okay, so, interesting. Which means it's in the emotional layer of the aura. No surprise there either. Okay. I take responsibility for my attitudes and now choose to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively transcend my seeking validation through feedback from others and my acting on what others want me to do instead of my own wisdom into all-encompassing love. I make the commitment to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively validate myself by acting on the basis of my inner direction and wisdom. I make the commitment to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively dissolve my seeking validation through feedback from others 
and by acting on what others want me to do instead of my own wisdom into an all-encompassing love. I make the commitment to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively validate myself by acting on the basis of my inner direction and wisdom. And of course, for us, it feels like a well duh moment. But you know, I know you've been working on that your whole life. Mm. But yeah, some things are really hard to shimmy shimmy. Mm. Mm. And that just blew two chakras. So we'll just sort of get that heart and base chakras going. Actually, not too bad. Can we put anything in there to prevent? any further weight gain through information when you're interacting with mum. Okay. So that. So what we can do. So that I'm successful. Okay. So there's inflammation going on. Anytime stuff goes on with Narcopath and my mother, who is loved, but she's a challenge. Uh, so what we'll do firstly is check in relation to the immune system. Okay. So in relation to mother energy. Hold, 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 yeah. <laughs> that one's an energy mismatch, which means your body doesn't think she's an energy mismatch, You're, you know exactly who she is and what she is, but she's messing with all your immune pathways. So it's inflammation on every, in every immune pathway in relation to your mum. Release any and all trauma associated with mum. Release any and all trauma associated with mum. Release any and all trauma associated with mother energy. Release any and all trauma associated with mother energy. to any and all nars nar narcissists. narcissists and sociopaths. Any and all narcissists and sociopaths. And hold. Okay. Hold. Hold. Okay. Any and all narcissists and sociopaths. Releasing the energy of any and all narcissists and sociopaths. Releasing the energy of any and all narcissists and sociopaths. And hold. Yeah, right. The flower essence is fringed violet, so that's all about trauma. Spiritual, mm -hmm. emotional, physical trauma. Oh, well caught. Fringed violet. Be at peace and see a clear pattern and plan running through your lives. Not quite. <laughs> So for damage to aura, shock and trauma, lack of psychic protection, poor recuperation since trauma or shock, fear of physical contact since rape or assault, 
draw showing up except the last one. Which is interesting because I'm sure energetically you felt that anyway. Mm. You know, I don't mean physical rape, but yeah. you know, that energetic. Okay, so it helps to remove the effects of recent or old traumas, reintegrates physical and etheric bodies and psychic protections. Because, you know, I think we've chatted before, one of the things when we're losing weight is if our aura, no, not our aura, but the connection between our body and our etheric body, as we shrink, if our etheric body doesn't shrink with us, there's space. Mm. And then when trauma happens, we want to fill out oh, that God. space. Yeah. So this is going to help to reintegrate your physical and etheric bodies. And that's why we so much weight to put that big layer oh, to protect Oh, man. Yeah. Twelve drops. <laughs> well, that's impressive. <laughs> Yeah, night time, Brandy. <laughs> Which means there's some genetic crap in there as well. to the old program for this body so long and I see now in the future. Are you an alien? Okay, beautiful. Thanks Alice. Thanks. How does that feel? Can you Yeah it does feel better. Cool. Cool. Not all the sore points. Yeah. Know it's Rachel. I know it's amazing isn't Rachel it? Rachel had lots of sore points. Yeah okay. Mm. Okay. So if you're getting baths in, Rachel, Epsom salt baths, washing soda baths, that sort of thing to really help as well. Essential oils, you know, any of that sort of jazz is all good for you, you know. So just to shift that lymph, shift those toxins, pull it all out. Infrared saunas, you know. Oh, um, ca castor oil packs. I think I sent you the information on that as well. For me, I saw a like in the shower talking about Oh, yeah, right. So energetically, that's what Alice, when you're in the shower, you know, letting it go, you know, allowing that, the pain, the trauma, the anything that's negative, anything that negative allowing it to come through. And I think um, having like some uh, um, rock salt, that sort of thing in the shower, you know, to sort of give yourself a bit of a... Even the crystals, like there she has rose quartz in the corner of the shower recess. Yep, just rose quartz in the short corner of the shower recess to help to raise the vibration. Yeah, and just releasing, oh, this body no longer accepts negatives, only mm. accepts positives, releasing all negatives with light and love. Beautiful. Got that? Cool. Take care, Rachel. Thanks, Alice.